Hey, what up Z Clan and everybody else? How you doing? I hope you're all doing good. Welcome to my quick Elden Ring guide video. In this video, I'd like to show you how you can unlock Smithing Stone Level 1 and Smithing Stone Level 2 in purchase. So basically unlimited as long as you have the runes to buy them, right? And you can buy them from this NPC right here uh, at uh, the Table of the Lost Grace only if you beat the boss at the Raya Lucia Crystal Mines. So let me zoom in over here. This is the location. So as soon as you kill the boss in that location, uh, sh sh the boss will give you an item and you will bring that item uh, to this merchant right here and offer uh, that bell, right? So once you offer it, you go to your purchase menu and you will see these stones available. Like I, uh, I was able to level up my Uchigatanas to level 10, level 7 at the moment. I need Now I need to farm level 3s. And I'm pretty sure that I already have a location. Now another thing that I'd like to bring to you is that uh, this location has got three levels and there's a lot of uh, like veins that you can like open and you can get level 1, level 2 and level 3 uh, smithing stones. Also, if you look careful within the whole mine, so I would recommend you to kind of like explore there a little bit more. Uh, you can also find uh, the sober stone smithing stones as well. Now, uh, once you kill the boss, uh, the boss is more like of a crystallized woman over there. So, first time I swinged her, I gave her 12 damage. I'm like, what? How am I supposed to fight? I thought for a second there, I thought that was I was uh, under leveled. But in reality, uh, that boss is very slow. Unfortunately, I was not able to record the boss fight. But uh, once you get to the boss, you'll see it. she's actually not that tough. Uh, so basically, you can uh, backstab her. Backstabbing her a few times, then it breaks sort of her defense and you will deal even more damage. Uh, she is slow, so it will be easier. But if you want to make your life even more easier, I would recommend you... Uh, to get uh, these summoning guys called the skeletal, skeletal Militia Ashes, right? So what these dudes do, once you summon them, if they are killed and if you aggro the boss, they, can, they have the time to revive, so pretty much they're endless, as long as uh, they don't get killed during the reviving process. Like if you've been sc uh, fighting skeletons by now, you, you already know uh, how to kill skeletons. And, when you take them down, they become like a pile of bones, and then they kind of like go revive themselves, right? And that's the moment when you gotta finish them off. Same thing with these guys. So if they die by the boss, you aggro the boss, the boss doesn't kill them, they revive, they take the aggro, and you backstab. So super simple. Now, where you can get these guys is if you go to uh, this location here, uh, Summon Water Village, and you will need to kill another boss in order to uh, get that summoning spell. It's, so it's not very uh, far from the starting location. So uh, I would recommend you to get these guys first and then navigate yourself uh, to the mine all the way up here. Uh, explore around, pick up everything and that's cool. Also the other cool thing is uh, the units that you kill within the mine they drop uh, where is that item? They drop these uh, glintstone scrap, right? And uh, you can sell these a hundred runes each. So that's an, an additional uh, sort of good way to get a little bit of runes. But my preferred way is to kill the giants. There's five giants. I made a separate video on the leveling, right? So there are five giants over here, right? So that's 5,000 runes. And if you, you encounter a glowing a glowing eyes giant, that's 5,000 per giant. Well, you don't get those a lot. So usually it's uh, 5,000 per run. Uh, but uh, then again, if you encounter at least one of them, it gives you 5,000 souls just for that one giant. And you kill the other four, so that's 9,000 9, runes. Uh, this is the area where I could I was able to level up my samurai character with within like maybe three or four hours to almost level 50 so that was actually pretty pretty cool if you can watch the uh, separate video because there are also some recommendations that I recommend you getting before you actually going to encounter these uh, giants and uh, I've actually shown it to you that was level 9 pretty much without uh, any updates and I beat them up with no problem so yeah and level 3 runes I'm planning to farm 
over here at South Raya uh, Lucia Gate, and I think this area as well. I'm not, I can't I can't recall right now, but on the stream over here, there are some uh, knights that also do magic, right? And they've uh, actually dropped a decent amount of level three uh, smithing stones. So that's where I'm gonna do my uh, smithing stone uh, level three farm. And I hope I'll find another tunnel which will give me an opportunity to buy those uh, locations because I was running around and I encountered this one because the guys tell me try to find some uh, caves or whatever so I was running around over here and I'm like okay here we go let's go inside I got the bell and I'm like so, uh, boom smithing stones for sale because ah! <laughs> I had an issue with that one anyway so that issue has been resolved next issue is level 3 level 4 which I think I'm gonna resolve as well Anyway, Z Clan and everybody else, hope you found this video useful. And if you did, you know the drill. Don't forget to hit that like, comment down below. Please make sure not to use profanity as those comments get triggered by YouTube. Nobody see them, nobody can read them, nobody can respond to them. And if you're new and you subscribe, welcome to Z Clan. I'm Gamer Z Sol from Ukraine. So hi from Ukraine. Once again, thanks all for watching this video. Also, uh, as of the date of recording this video, there is a war going on in Ukraine. So if you feel like you want to support, I'm going to leave two links to two official funds one for the military, the other other one for humanitarian and if you can do any type of donation uh, I think everybody in all Ukraine is going to be very appreciated and including myself so anything helps uh, if you can the links are there you can examine that and, and, and so on I really hope that this war is going to end as soon as possible because this is this is insane anyway Z clan and everybody else thanks all for watching and I will see you on the next video I know From the ashes we rose into the future we'll go We are the clan, we have a gamer's soul By the might of the sword we put the pen to the test We are the clan, we are the gamer's best Z clan Z clan Our hearts and our soul we will forever know What community stronghold this is our song of the heart of the one sort of part here we will stand a line drawn in the sand Z -Clan. Z -Clan.